Hello, functioners! Today, we are talking about factories. Factories are simply functions that create objects and return them. In most cases, you can use factories instead of classes. And factories are much simpler and less convoluted than classes are. This is a weekly show where we try to become more confident and excited about programming by learning intriguing things that we didn't know before. Prerequisite. In order to understand this video, you need to be familiar with closures. If you're not completely sure what closures are, you should watch the previous episode on that topic first. Before I show you a factory function, I want to show you a class. This is a dog class. It does some setup in the constructor, assigns a property to itself called sound. The class also has a method, talk, which uses that sound. We then instantiate a dog, Sniffles, which we then call talk on, and Sniffles promptly tells us woof. This is fine, but there are a couple of annoying things with classes. If we assign the talk method to something like a click handler here, things will break! Because now the this keyword inside the talk method here will not be sniffles. This is going to refer to something else. In this case, I think it's going to be the DOM element or something. That is not important exactly what, but what is important is that it isn't going to refer to sniffles like you would intuitively expect. To work around this, you can use bind to force this to be sniffles. This is a very common thing to do, but it hurts my gentle and beautiful soul to look at this code. It looks like God the shit. Another way of dealing with this problem is to wrap the talk call in a function like this. That looks better, but it annoys me that I have to remember to do this at all. To me, it feels like a stupid trap in a shitty computer game. In fact, I think that the concept of this and new in JavaScript feels like that in general. New and this are some kind of unintuitive, weird clown rainbow trap that you just trip over all the time. And I am so ashamed of it every time I introduce people to JavaScript. But there is hope. Because in JavaScript, you don't have to do classes. In Java or C Sharp and some other languages, you have to use classes. That's the way of instantiating objects. But in JavaScript, you have a bit more freedom. So maybe we can try some other way. Enter factory functions. Here is our dog rewritten as a factory function. Now, dog is simply a function in it. We create a variable sound and we assign the value woof to it. We then return a simple object literal with one property, talk, a function which logs out the value of sound. And because of the awesomeness of closures, talk has access to the variable sound. A bonus feature here is that the code outside of the dog doesn't have access to the sound variable. So the sound variable is actually properly private to the dog, which it isn't in the class. And notice here that we are not using the this keyword at all. And because of that, the reference to the sound variable will always be correct. Even when we use class in the way that broke in the class example like this. I think that for almost all cases, you will be better off using factories rather than classes because your code will be simpler and easier to reason about. There is one case where I think it's valid to use classes and that is if you find yourself in a situation where you need to create a lot of objects because classes have a bit better performance. But note here, when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Instantiating an object on my computer using a factory takes 0.0.0.0.4 milliseconds. Using a class is twice as fast actually. 0.0.0.0.2 milliseconds. If you do the math, this means that if you're creating, say, 10,000 instances, 
using classes over factories will earn you da -da 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 -da, two milliseconds. So if you're creating just a couple of hundred or even a couple of thousand items per frame, the performance difference between a factory and class is not going to matter to you. If you are creating more than 10,000 instances per frame, then classes might be for you, but you should really ask yourself if the problem isn't that you're creating 10,000 items per frame in the first place. In summary, factories are simply functions that create and return objects. We looked at a simple example of how you can use a factory instead of a class, and how the factory is less convoluted than a class. We also talked about how classes are a bit faster, but that it is by so little that it only matters if you're creating uh, 10,000 items per frame or more. Do you have thoughts or questions? Maybe you even disagree? Good! Post a YouTube comment down below, and me or a fellow viewer shall respond to your inquiry. Again, in this show we try to become more excited and confident about programming by learning intriguing things that we didn't know before. New episodes every Monday morning, so make sure that you don't miss the next episode. Subscribe to the channel here on YouTube or follow me on Twitter at mpjme. Until next Monday, stay curious.